Hello, I'm just entering the Embark Open House. I'm going to take you for a walk. Okay. Just look around. Station one. There you go. So, uh, we'd like to welcome you all to the uh, Embark Community Meeting. Um, what we have here is the legacy and ecology uh, aspects along the corridor. Uh, what you're looking at is a poster. It shows the different elements uh, along along the Route One corridor. Uh, I'm terrible when I'm on camera. Can we start you're, over? You're doing great. Okay. Well, besides, it can be edited. We're gonna crack. Okay. Fair enough. Um, so, what you're looking at are some of the elements that were considered in the design of each of the station here. Each of the station areas are unique along Route One, uh, but they also have some similarities. So we want to, in the design, bring out some of the ecological and heritage resources that exist along the, uh, along the highway. For example, in Woodlawn, um, it's, a, it's a centralized area where there are a lot of heritage resources, and we think that that's a great launching pad uh, for community members or visitors uh, to get out into the surrounding areas and see what what we want to see all Likewise, in Hyper Valley, there are a lot of ecological features uh, that connect Humphrey Meadows and Little Huntington Creek. What we would like to do is to expose that. A lot of the development in the area has covered over that. Uh, and hopefully we can bring that to the forefront and make it a central feature as people visit these places. My goodness, uh, that sounds like a great project. Thank you. Moving on, I guess we'll go right next door. Just do this. So these right. are showing examples of the kinds of legacy elements that we want to see, the history be brought out in, into new projects, and elements of the types of mixes of uses that we, we expect along the corridor. Um, and then some of the public spaces and public and uh, pedestrian connections that we expect. And it's all beautiful. Yes. Turn you on, okay. All right, go for it. So what we have here are the different sections of uh, the different streets that we're envisioning for the different areas, the different CDCs uh, along Richmond Highway. These are not Richmond Highway. These are potential streets that are being designed for Richmond Highway, near the Richmond Highway and the CDC. And this is making it more livable, more playful, more amenities for the residents and the businesses that will be located in here, and creating more of an outdoor living room uh, aspect. Excellent. Well, thank you. Sure. We're going now to the bus rapid transit area. I think we need to. Go okay, for so it. To start. So what, as you can see, like this is the, we're answering the question, what is BRT? Some of the great features with bus rapid transit system, for example, are there service plans and frequencies? We're looking at higher frequencies. Um, we have dedicated now lanes, as we proposed today, so only bus running lanes, with only buses can run. Information technology, so we'll give you more real-time information when the next bus is coming. Station will be a lot more concise and clear. We'll have off-port fare collection as an example, and that'll be part of what helps to speed up the bus process. And the other big thing is a newer bus, new buses, brand new buses will be branded to the new system, whatever it is that we choose to call it. So it'll be a big community outreach. Uh, part of what we call our new Fairfax here in the BRT system. Oh, very good. What's this other chart? This other chart shows you the, um, the components of the back of the project limits. So we're starting in Huntington all the way down to Park Bellmore. Then we have a high-level timeline on the project status. We're kicking it off, so we still have a lot of details to go through. It just kind of shows you the big picture of where we are. Well, thank you very much. So this is the Hyper Valley concept, or the Gun Springs concept for the Richmond Highway area. And the idea here is to really kind of take the overall narrative, the overarching narrative of the Embark Corridor, which is the overlap of legacy and ecology. Um, ecology being ecological corridors that are current streams that are covered up, and trying to overlap that as best as we can with some of the old alignments of Richmond Highway and some historic sites that exist there in terms of how you think of legacy specifically.
And so this concept is taking all of those things and building an urban design framework based on that, and then applying a new street grid and a new set of land uses and densities to kind of put that together to create a really well thought of community. Centered by three potential BRT stations that can funnel the new density into its block. So within that, you can think of some nice transitions and experiences between an kind of urban experience along Richmond Highway with your tallest buildings specifically around the BRT stations, then kind of transitioning little by little into you know, more residential uses or you know, just less tall buildings into the existing residential neighborhoods in the back. Um, so you can think of these areas as kind of an urban experience here and here. Here as well, that kind of transitions back into single family homes in the back. Um, within that, you have really interesting experiences where you have the green spaces with plazas and function around potential BRT stations here, and here as well. But then are connected um, with some nice new infrastructure along Richmond Highway, as well as nice pedestrian infrastructure through the ecological spines um, and other and local avenues and local streets as well. Awesome. Oh, thank you, Max. <laughs> there you go. Now, Hi. what are you doing here, Liz? Oh, I'm, I'm here to share with you the concept for the Pendom Community Business Center. Excellent. So let me orient you first. Uh, we have uh, Richmond Highway here, and this is heading north. Uh, north Kings Highway comes down here um, and then turns into South Kings. So the entire CBC um, kind of straddles that that crossroads intersection. Um, the, the BRT would come from the Huntington Metro, down North Kings, turn onto Shields, and then continue down Richmond Highway. We have our potential BRT station uh, right here in the center. And from that, we uh, envision a development that would have a smaller grid of streets, a walkable grid with bicycle facilities, um, we would be creating a parallel road here to Richmond Highway, which maybe I can show you better in this drawing here, um, would be our livability spot. So the idea is we would connect from Fairview over to Quander, and this would kind of be the heart of the community. Um, and our, this is showing our land uses. The idea is that we would have higher density, taller buildings along Richmond Highway. They would taper down to the livability spine and further continue to taper down back to our park reserve area. The buildings themselves would be terraced so that we could get more light and air into the livability spine itself. So speaking of the livability spine, this is a, a rendering of the cross section. And um, as you can see, we have uh, provided for all the tra transportation modes. There's two lanes for traffic with on-street parking. We would have a sidewalk on one side and a 10-foot shared use path on the other so bicyclists can use that. What's really exciting about this concept is that on each side we have um, larger areas for public gathering space. They could be program plaza spaces, we could have spray parks, little playgrounds in them, all kinds of activities, as well as green spaces, just simply places to relax, meet with friends, um, sit and rest. So we think that this concept would create a very inviting place for people to come and gather. Um, we also envision the buildings uh, continuing the green thing up, the, up as it terraces and steps up. So uh, they're creating a very uh, livable green space for the community to come together. We envision retail on the ground floor, so again that would help activate that space. Um, we also, if I can go back to this drawing, <laughs> We, we envision a, a passive recreation space kind of to the rear of this. So this is currently a county-owned property. Uh, we have a Stream Valley restoration project planned for it, but eventually we'd like to see this turned into kind of a, a passive trail system that people could use for um, just passive recreation. So this would be more active 
gathering spaces and this would be the quieter um, passive recreation areas. I think we all could use more of that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So that's it, the nutshell. But, and here's the suggestion board. Any ideas? Just write them down, stick them on the board, or send it to the, the links they got online. We'll take the most picture of the right here. It's the most shocking. Now, who wouldn't want to live there, huh? Or at least work and play there. Oh! <laughs> Hello, Beth. Now, tell me about what you're going here. Okay, so this is Woodlawn. It's the southernmost CBC in the area, so it's between South County and Fort Baltimore. And this is the potential concept plan for what it could look like when it redevelops from mostly retail space currently to a mix of retail, office, hotel, residential. And trying to add park space in and do connections to existing riparian areas and creeks, and then also what it could look like once the bus rapid transit comes and how that will impact development. Very neat. Uh, what's the other one? <laughs> Hello, Linda. What are we looking at? Well, we're looking at the south end of the corridor. Here is the Woodlawn CBC. Here's actually the Woodlawn Plantation area and Mount Vernon in this area. So this is the area where the BRT will be um, located. This is the proposed station. And then this is where we're looking at the density in this area. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And if you stayed with me the whole time, that's a wrap. Have a good day.